So first and foremost with Panera, what is your favorite item on the menu at Panera? Oh my God. Well, you know, first of all, mac and cheese is one of my favorite meals of all time. And the, now I know the bacon mac is, is only available for a limited time, but I have to say the mac and cheese is all good. I do like their steak sandwich also. Sure. The steak sandwich is, uh, runs a second to the mac. Do you remember the first time you went to a Panera? You know what? Uh, no, I don't. I, I remember, you know what? I remember having, it's kind of wild because I know when I feel sad, I need a little bakery to, to kind of make me feel happy. Sure. <laughs> and when you smell the bread, I remember getting some, I remember I got a, like a, uh, it was like a cherry turnover or something like that. It just made me happy. So that was years ago. I was sad about something, but it was like the Panera bread just cheered me up big time. Are you yourself a cook or a baker? You know what? I'm a little bit more of a cook. Um, my daughter is the baker of the house. She loves to bake cakes and pies and the whole thing. But I like the grill. When I get the grill on, it's on. Sure. Now, when you're not eating at Panera, what is your diet like? Because everyone knows you as a great physique guy. Yeah, you know, I do intermittent fasting, which is, you know, I eat from 2 to 10, and I drink BCAAs, and I'm a big vitamin guy and all this stuff. But the deal is, is that I have a cheat day, a legendary cheat day, because it's one of those things that help, actually helps you work out. Sure. Um, cause, because you never, you know, when you say don't do this, don't do that, it's like don't step on the grass. First thing you want to do is step on the grass. So what you have to do is always indulge yourself occasionally so that you can keep your sanity. <laughs> you sure. know what I mean? And uh, I eat really, really good, really clean. And then there's a couple of days, sometimes it's a whole weekend, I'm like, hey, I eat whatever I want. And the good thing is with the workouts and the training, you'll be fine. Sure. Now, people who have been following you for a long, long time know you from your NFL days. They know you from Battle Dome. You've had a best-selling book. They know you can break dance. They know that you were a stenographer. Is there anything that Terry Crews can't do? You know what? Uh, I, I, you know, it's weird because I know, and this is the thing, when they, people say, Terry Crews can do everything, but the truth <laughs> is, everyone can do anything they want to do if you're willing to pay the price. Sure. My deal is, if you, want to, if you want it bad enough and you're willing to pay the price for it, you can do it. So if there's, there's been a lot of things that I wanted to do, like design furniture, that I was willing to pay the price for. And if I wanted to switch and do something, if I wanted a farm, well then, if I'll just, I'm willing to pay the price to work a farm. But it's really one of those things where you have to figure out what it is you want to do, what your dreams are, and then just go for those. You know what I mean? Then that way, you're not, you're not dealing with extraneous stuff. Sure. You know what I mean? And your wife is known as an excellent piano player, an excellent yes. singer. You have sung on camera before. Everyone <laughs> loves your A Thousand Miles cover. Have you and her ever sung together or have you ever thought about recording with her? Oh, it's funny. We actually did a Facebook Live video that went viral. We were singing one of her songs together. And I love when she starts playing, I get on the you know, she gets on the piano, I start singing, I start singing from the heart. I feel like I'm in the shower, you know what I mean? And we put it on Facebook and it went crazy, it went viral. But mostly when I'm singing, it's funny. You know, I love to sing what I did in Blended and I was singing all those songs. And it's weird because I'm on iTunes for my songs that I did in that movie. And I'm like, yo, dude, I'm a recording artist. <laughs> sure. It's crazy. So is there a field that you haven't yet conquered that you're still hoping to? You know, um, one thing I really, I, like I did, I, I mentioned the farm earlier, but I really do want a working farm. I don't know what to tell you. I want cows, chickens, horses, the whole thing. I see that in my future, man. And I want to be able to just have a whole deal where we get vegetables and the whole, I just want that. I don't know where it's going to be. I don't know what's going on, but somewhere in my future, a Terry Cruz's farm is happening. And are there any upcoming projects you can talk about besides this collaborate, uh, collaboration with Panera? Wow, yes. Uh, I have a movie coming out July 6th nationwide called Sorry to Bother You from Boots Riley. Uh, it stars Lakeith Stanfield, Tessa Thompson. Deadpool 2 just came out and Brooklyn Nine-Nine just got picked back up. It's going to be on NBC this fall. They don't have a date yet, but it's definitely coming back and we're going to do six seasons. It's awesome. And finally, any last words for the kids? Wow. Hey, kids, uh, enjoy your summer. You know what? Let all the books down. That's this is the thing. My kids work so hard. They would have three hours of homework after every day of, of school. And I say summertime, just chill, relax, go to the pool, get yourself some food, chill out and relax. Cool. Thank you so much for uh, your time giving me all this.